Welcome back everybody, so we have returned to the unnamed mansion uh, about a month, month and a half on since we did our first investigation it's very very exciting, obviously I've got some more new kit, I've got an SLS camera, I've got the spirit box got a mail meter, we've got different, uh, we got more options of investigating in this uh, secondary investigation I'm generally quite excited to be fair there also has been some developments in some of the paranormal evidence that we got last time okay which will come apparent very very quickly um generally really really excited i'm going to keep all the intro stuff very very short because obviously we've already done this investigation before so we're just going to get on and start investigating right about now hi all welcome back um just wanted to give you a little update on something that's happened at the house that we investigated a little while back. So when we were here last time, Ryan and Sky, who I think it was episode one here, were doing a little investigation in here. And they kept getting the name Sarah appear on their app, which they were using to try and contact anyone in this room or any, any spirits that might be here. And we knew that there was a Sarah who used to work here in this room, so we were assuming that somehow it was possibly that person, maybe. We, you know, we didn't really think too much about it. Um, but today, Ryan came back here uh, during work to have a look round, and strange thing, he came into the room here and he was doing the app again, using the app just to have a look around, and the same name appeared again. That name was, again, Sarah. So, he thought, well, I'll just have a look around, and I need to show you this now. So, in this little book here, I don't want to reveal the name, but you can see the pictures, there's a baby, and at the bottom, I'll lift it up a little bit, you can see the name, Sarah. Sarah. Okay, that's not much of a, a story, you might think. But see the pram in the pictures? Take a look. It's the same pram. The same pram is in the pictures. The same pram as in that picture. It's crazy, man. And we think that this is the Sarah connection that we've been getting. Yeah. So we've come back tonight to have another look round and do a, a little bit more ourselves, see if we can find any more info yep. on Sarah. Exactly. I'm excited. <laughs> okay then people, so the one bit of kit that we didn't have last time was the mail meter. And I'm going to do a sweep around here. Um, so it's just, uh, right there we go, zero, zero point one. There is a light above me, so it could be picking up the light, which is not. Nope, there it is. A little bit there. Not much. Zero point. Smoke detector. Could be smoke picking up the smoke detector. I want to say, yeah, it is a little bit. Go next to each other light. See what kind of picks up on. Zero. I'm just gonna go around the room. Sweep the pram as well while I'm at it. That picked up a reading. 0 0.4, 0 0.2 around the pram. Okay. 2.6 around the pram. Right. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.5. Unless this is run by a battery. It's not run by any battery and there's nothing in there that should be giving you any reading. So let's just look at this again by the light. By the light, hang on. There we 
there we go. So by the light, it's picking up. Uh, it's picking up a little bit there. Zero point, but here, let's try the pram. Zero point two. Zero point two. Three. One point four. Right, so we know that the light's giving off, say, like, one to two. Yeah. The pram is giving off at a max. Yeah. Three. Right. So, basically, how this is going to run is that Richard's going to be using the app. I am going to be using the SLS camera. As you can see, it's mapping Richard right now. So, I'm going to be monitoring the SLS camera while Richard is trying to communicate throughout the app. Okay. I'm just going to try and scan around this pram because I'm very interested in it. <coughs> Is there anybody here who'd like to speak to us? I've got a word come up straight away. I have no connection for it. Oh my god, two words, very, very quick succession. What's the word? Outlet and right. life. Life. Outlet and life. Life would be very relevant. And I mean, this is going off the charts in front of this pram. Turn around here. Nothing. Not a thing. Nothing else. As soon as I start to come back towards the pram, starting to pick up again. Not as crazy as it was before, but it's lifted. There we go. Outlet and life. So if there is anybody here who wants to communicate with us, try and speak to us through this device. It's really straightforward. Give us a sign that you're here. If you are in front of the pram, make the pram move. Rock the pram for us. Battery's gone on the SLS. So I'm going to have a little walk around this room to see if I can get anything else. So far, we've just got two words which were from the pram. And the words were life and outlet. Right. It's just absolutely nothing. Really think we should focus on that pram. Yeah. Come back up the steps towards the pram and it's going off the charts again. So is there anyone here who knows Sarah? Funny. Funny. What's funny? What's funny about that? Are you Sarah? Is that your name? Very sick for me. For me. Tell me what's funny. Come on, you're making the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. Just give me something else. Sarah, can you rock the pram? Can you make the pram move? There's something there. Okay, this is right on your pram. Right. 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 Mm, don't know. I would say not a lot. Come on, give us something. Are you playing with us, Sarah? Are you just trying to throw us off the scent? We know you're here. Ryan was here today, wasn't he? It's, it's, so maybe this isn't Sarah. If, if it isn't Sarah, give us your name.
Tell us who you are. See, we think your name's Sarah, but we could be wrong. Tell us what your name is. Bureau. I don't know what to make about that second. Bureau. Are you in the pictures on the on the top of the bureau? Are those you? Are those pictures you? Do you want me to bring them over here? Let's try something. Come on, you're going to have to talk to us more. You're going to have to give us more than that. Oh. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna bring that just that, that up just over here a second. Yeah. Sarah, is that you in the photo? Is that you? Is this a picture of you that we're looking at? Is that the pram that you were in? That's me. Come on. I believe that's you that's in that pram. Can you say yes? Can you confirm it? Brad. Brad. <clears throat> okay. Who's Brad? Christoph. Who is Brad? Tell us more. Are you over here still? Huh. Huh. Oh. It smells like smelling those candles. Oh, malicious. Malicious? Fuck. Excuse All right me. Then. So we got malicious spirit in here, have we? What's your name? Give us your name. Tell us your name. If you're malicious, show us you're malicious. Do something. Headstone. Okay. Where's your headstone? What headstone are you talking about? Is it your headstone? Mm. Can you confirm there's maybe Brad that's here? That's trying to communicate with us instead of Sarah? That comes back with yes. Be is this Brad? Or is this Sarah? Brad or Sarah? Which one is it? Come on. Greek. Greek. There's a whole lot of no sense. Mm. Ah. Okay. I think maybe I'm asking the wrong question. Is this Sarah's mum we're speaking to? Is that who this is? Was this the pram that you pushed Sarah around in? If you're processor, mm. ah, it's just not making any sense at all tonight. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to switch this off now. I'm going to try a few more basic ways to communicate with you. So we'll come back to this a little bit later.
I got the chills, man. Right. I got the chills. I want to go really basic. How basic? Right. There is someone or something here. Okay? Right. And I believe it's quite a strong spirit, ghost, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So I want you to do something. If you're listening to me, I want you to do something. You've been stood by the pram. Make the pram move. You've only got to touch it and it will move. Make something move in this room. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be the lightest thing, a piece of paper, anything. Just show us that you are here. Give us something. We know you're here. We believe you're here. I know it must be difficult. If this was a pram that you pushed one of your children around in, just move the pram. Push the pram like you used to. Okay, maybe it's too difficult. Maybe I'm asking too much. If you can't do that, what I just put down on the book is a device to detect whether you're here or not. I'm going to stand back. If you go close to that, that will start to beep. So I'm going to stand right back. Can you do that for us? Okay. Getting yeah, nothing, are we? To be fair, could have spent all of his energy. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. I've already sweeped that this area with yeah. this. I'm gonna see if I can get anything else. Because I remember being in there. Yeah. I'm gonna try in there. You can carry on. Just. Oh, are you coming with us? Come around with you, yeah. 